Hey Leos and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your bi-weekly love reading for the end of October. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leo signs, this will not resonate with all of you, so please take what does and leave what don't and have fun watching the reading. All right, Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Leo for the last two weeks of February? Ask if all messages come through the cards that are for the best and greatest good of our Leo viewers. All right. Leo, your guys' first card out is feeling emotionally drained. Um, you could be um, crying a lot of tears. Uh, it's very sad over something that ended or didn't get off the ground. Um, you could be dealing with some financial issues um, of the past, but you are you are getting over that. The challenge of your new beginning has something to do with finances. So let's see. I'll get all your cards out and then um, I will clarify them. So we'll be able to get a little more detail. All right. So you guys have really been wanting to create something new um, really get something off the ground. This could be a relationship, but it could also be a business. Um, really wanting to make, um, make or create something. This has been something you wanted for a long time. Yeah. All right. Thank you. We're disappointed. Really disappointed. I'm going to keep it in your hands and then I'll get the details out here because I got so many things coming through. All right. The Fool, New Beginnings, Starting Over New, The Two of Pentacles, Feeling the Shift to Change, Welcoming Change for some of you. The Princess of Pentacles in Reverse. The Eight of Wands. Okay. So you guys' bottom of the deck is the Two of Wands in Reverse, clarified by the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands. All right. The bottom of your deck is then the Lovers in Reverse, the Six of Cups in Reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles. So, okay, Leos, what do we got going on? So with your um, overall energy you really you really need to go within and decide what it is that you want, what direction you want to go in, um, what path is going to be best for you, where you're going to be able to make the world your own, where you're going to be able to fully let go of that one wand that you're holding onto and move in the direction wholeheartedly. Um, you are here in your own element. You are looking great. You have been working very hard on yourself. Um, for some of you, however, I feel like you've just been stuck. You've been waiting. You've been stagnant. You've been 
um, putting your life on hold for somebody else. You're not allowing your creative spark to, to ignite your future because you're just sitting here waiting for somebody else to, um, to walk this path with you. There's no reason to wait for anybody. You're going to be able to create this, whatever it is that you've wanted to create on your own. And once you start walking that path, you're going to quickly realize how easily you can manifest um, what it is that you're wanting to um, birth, what it is that you're wanting to create. And the Six of Wands just flipped as I was saying that. So there is going to be success for you, Leos, in the future. So let's see why you have the Ace of Cups here in reverse. Why is the Ace of Cups here in reverse for Leos? What is all this sadness about? Yeah, making a decision. So you have to make a decision, Leo, um, with the, you coming out as the uh, Ace of Cups in reverse. Um, you need to make a choice of whether you're going to um, stay dedicated to this path that you're on or change things up again uh, or change things up for the better. Uh, you have so many twos on the board or cards about decision um, that you really you're really at a crossroads. Um, and it's time to make a decision. I do feel you are making a decision with it in reverse and you are no longer going to stay in the path and the vibration of this sadness of this, um, ace of cups in reverse. The good, um, thing about it being in your position though, Leo's is it is here for you. So just because it's in reverse now, it doesn't mean it's not going to come in the upright. It's here. It's just not time for that just yet. And your challenge is the coming out of this feeling of being left out, coming out of this feeling of having lack, coming out of this feeling of um, not having enough financially, emotionally. Um, and when you are able to master that, when you're able to come out of this thought process, this thought pattern, this um, self-sabotaging um, thoughts that you're having, you're going to get this new beginning. It's going to be given to you. And uh, you're going to get this new start, this new opportunity to create what it is that you want. You have a very solid foundation of what it is that you want to build this on, whether this be career or love. I'm seeing both. Um, but you have, no matter what, um, have built a very, very solid um, foundation with, uh, your, with what you've wanted to create. This person left you, I mean, this person left you in the dark. They, they intentionally left you out in the cold, you feel, and it really stabbed you in the back. You were supposed to be creating a new life with this person, and they just left you for dead. Um, the best thing about this card, however, is it is the end of the cycle. It is over now. Um, you do not, the worst is over and you do not have to go back to that. It is now, um, you know, the ace of swords will be up next. So it's time to allow, um, this energy to, um, to pass, to forgive, to heal and to move forward from, so you can take your position as this beautiful empress that you are. For some of you, you could have been the third party. As we know, the empress is often, um, referred to as the mistress. You could have been a mistress to somebody and they, you feel betrayed because they went back to their other person, um, leaving you out in the cold and not giving you this new beginning that they promised you. And that's making you really sad. And now you're wanting to know, should I stay and give this person another chance if they come back around or should I move on and give up on this connection? Um, with it the reason why I'm saying it could have been a third party is your next card out is the three of cups in reverse. So your foundation was based on betrayal. Um, and in your past you had, um, a third party situation that came to an end. Um, why is this three of cup here making you very sad, making you very emotional, um, over this situation, over this person. Why is the three of cups here in the past? Yeah, somebody kind of emotionally blocked you out. Um, they could have cut you off from this third party and put a wall up. Not um, not 
letting you in on how they feel, how they, what they're doing, what they're up to. Um, they just kind of ghosted you and blocked you. And, and now you are left to deal with the emotional heartache and the emotional pain all by yourself with no answers. They just, that's what's making you feel so betrayed. It's not the fact that they ended the relationship. It's the way that they ended the relationship, um, causing you all this pain and then no answers on top of it of why it had to happen. In your present um, moment, you have the fool. So you have this opportunity. You have this um, clean slate to work with to, you know, move past all this hurt and take that leap of faith. Um, for some of you, you're going to be taking that leap of faith single. The fool is often by himself. Um, setting out in the world single, alone, and looking for new adventure, looking for love, looking for whatever is meant to find him on his path. Yeah, and that's what the, you guys are going to be doing for this group of you. With the Nine of Pentacles, you have the opportunity now in the present moment to take this chance to set out on your own and find out what it is in life that you truly want. It's time to invest in yourself. It's time to spend time on what you want to pamper you, to take care of you, to replenish your heart and soul um, with good and positive energy and to release all that negativity of the past. It's time to invest in yourself and, and do yourself the favor of taking this leap um, with, you know, on your future, for your future, for you. In the future, you do have the two of pentacles. Um, this is trying to figure out life, the ebb and flow, the up and down, the dance um, in the midst of change. It could be some rough waters. It could um, get kind of crazy, but you're going to figure it out. You're going to find that balance and you're going to find that um, healthy balance between the love for yourself and the love for somebody else. Um, and in the future, it's going to come back. You're going to find balance just in time for them to return. And want a second chance. This person that you had a third party with. Um, they are going to want a second chance with you um, in your future. Be cautious of this. This person still has somebody else in their future. They come back wanting a second chance with you. But they come back with the third party juggling energy still. So be careful um, if you do uh, entertain this idea. Because you are just finding your own balance. So um, be very, very cautious of them returning if they still have a third party. You don't want to throw all that work down the drain um, after you finally found peace and balance after this emotional um, heartache that you have suffered in the past. Um, right now, you're, you're viewing yourself as... Um, and like you don't feel stable. You feel like, when am I going to be able to stand on solid ground and not have it crumble underneath me? And it's being clarified by the tower. So you're feeling like you're just at any minute, your foundation could come down around you. Like everything you thought to be true is, it just seems to be a facade or like nothing is solid. Um, but you're going to get out of that energy. That energy is going to pass you. Because you are finding balance and you are nurturing yourself. You are nourishing your own soul, your own mind, your own heart. So this is just kind of a residual energy right now that you're dealing with from all this pain that this person put you through. In your environment, you are going to get communication from somebody. It's going to be very quick. It's going to be very... Uh, Yeah, it's going to be very quick, very, um, like, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Um, and all it's going to do is really confuse you. This communication could come in um, trying to make you believe something that isn't true, trying to make you, um, you know, like, I'm sorry, I don't have that other person anymore. You know, like, trying trying to um, fill you full of illusions. Um, so be cautious of this. Uh, because this energy is, this third party energy is still around. Um, you are also receiving other communication from other people though. You have other options, Leo. Um, 
And some of them are very beautiful options. In your guys' outcome, you had the Four of Pentacles and the World. So um, why is the Four of Pentacles here in their outcome? Yeah, so you are going to keep that wall up um, as well. You are not going to let this person back in so easily um, until they tell you the truth. Until they come in walking, talking, and living their truth, you don't want to hear it. Um, you're not wanting to invest in them. You're not wanting to have anything to do with them, quite frankly, unless they are telling the truth. Your last card for the outcome is the world closing out this chapter, allowing this chapter to come to an end, the heartache to, to heal. Why is the world here? What chapter are they closing? Some of you are going to be doing some traveling, though, um, with the world card as well. Um, if you're planning a trip in the last couple weeks of February, it's going to be a wonderful trip. Why is the world here for Leos? Thank you. Oh, wow. All right. So when you close out this chapter of this heartache, of this hurt, of this betrayal, that is when you are going to find emotional fulfillment. Now, when I say close out a chapter or end a major life era or what a lot of times with what the world is, that doesn't necessarily mean you are ending the relationship. That means the, the ways that you thought, the ways that you acted, the ways that you guys treated each other, the way that you guys spoke to each other, anything of the past that had to do with that last go around, that last relationship is done. You're closing that chapter. You're healing from that and you're moving on in a healthy way. That is the world card. Not necessarily mean, um, sometimes it does mean, you know, the chapter's ending, that's done, the book's closed, that's over with that person. But it doesn't necessarily mean that every time. But once you close the chapter to this past heartache, once you close the chapter and heal, because your bottom of the deck is the star card, once you heal, you are going to find emotional abundance. You're going to find that true love. You're going to find that relationship that is truly meant for you, Leo. For some of you, it is the same person. For some of you, it is somebody new. So just take it how it fits. Um, your bottom of the deck uh, to uh, the other, in relation to the bottom of your other deck, the star card needs to be, um, or the... Healing needs to be done from the path that you have been walking up to this point. This to me is also um, divine timing. So you're at a crossroads um, where you can either heal and move forward or continue down the path you're going. When you heal and move forward, divine timing steps in and that is when your true love comes in, Leos, within the next two weeks. Um you also have the queen with the queen. You guys are on fire. When you uh, do that healing, you are going to be undeniably sought out. Like your vibration will be high. People will be drawn to you. Uh, people will be flocking to you. You will have many, many options, Leo. And the ace of wands with the nine of wands. Keep fighting for your dream. Do not give up on this spark. Um, just because it's in the reverse doesn't mean it's not here for you. Keep fighting for whatever this spark of um, of passion that you want to to give to the world. Don't let anybody anybody uh, talk you out of your dream because that's what this is. Somebody is creating something, and other people around you are making you think it's not a possibility. Keep fighting for your dream because it is a possibility and you are going to be very successful, Leo, when you do move forward in that path. All right, goddess uh, guidance, what do you have for our Leos for the last two weeks of February? All right, fertility. Oh my God, that is awesome. It, it is the perfect time for you to start new projects access new ideas, and give birth to, to new conditions. I just got done saying this. 
somebody out there is going to create something very beautiful. Do not let anybody squash your dreams, Leo. Most, do not let anybody put out that, uh, that passion. And your bottom of that deck is independent. Your independence is a fountain of your strength and success. And I said, do yourself a favor and take that leap of faith. Be independent. Invest in yourself because it is where your strength and your success is going to come from. Because you, my friends, are creating a beautiful reality and um, you most deserve it, Leo. So, all right, guys, have an amazing last two weeks of February. I will see you next time. I send you love, light, and God bless.